Okay, I thought it was a dream, but then it was like, oh no, you ate all these goblin dogs. So it's like, it was not a dream. And then I brought the goblin dog truck into my bedroom, and then I crushed my bed with it, and I had to turn my bed back into a bed. <gasps> And then I told my mom about it, and my mom was like, oh, that shouldn't be happening. And I was like, oh, no. Jana, stop blowing in Marco's hair. What, that was you? Sorry, I got a little bored. No offense. Yeah. Star, can you just get to the point, please? <sighs> okay, I'm sleep portaling. In my sleep, every night, I hear this sound, and it's like... Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, Star, we get it. Can we just get to the point, please? I've been following this sound to the same location every night. But I never make it there because I wake up. And that's where you come in, Jana. You gotta hypnotize me so I can stay asleep. What? Hypnotize you? Star, shouldn't you leave that to a trained professional? You doubt my skills. Yeah, actually, I do. Chicken butt. What the heck? What happened? You guys, stop messing around and get over here. Hey, check it out! I linked my compact phone to my mirror, so you'll be able to see whatever I see. Marco, you've got the scissors. If anything goes wrong out there, you come get me. You're my lifeline. What if you get lost? Or go so far out that we can't find you? Marco, we've dealt with much worse stuff than this. Yeah, I guess. Okay, Star, take a nice, deep breath. <sighs> now, focus on my watch. Hey, that's my watch. Dude, this is about Star. Get over yourself. Uh. Keep your eyes on the watch. You are feeling light as a feather. And now we wait. So what exactly does it look like when she portals? I like that. We have liftoff. 